welcome you again in the process of environmental science of EBS Academy. Today we are going to start the new chapter that is the environmental chemistry. So in this unit we will discuss about the very basic thing about the environmental chemistry and the advanced about all the environmental chemistry like chemicals, their composition, their structure, their behavior, their thing. All that we will cover in the other chapters like water pollution, air pollution, whenever the that compounds will come or that particular thing which we want to discuss will come on that particular unit. In this unit, we will discuss all the basic thing about the environmental chemistry and some basic questions which can form from this particular chapter that is the environmental chemistry. So let's begin the chapter. Here, before starting this environmental chemistry, some terms need to be clear, which we are starting right now. These are the very important terms, basic terms in the environmental chemistry, which should be very, very clear every time to all of The very first thing that we have to discuss here is the atomic number. So what is the atomic number of any element? So the atomic number of any element is basically the number of protons present in any atom. Not neutron as well as not electron. The atomic number is provided to any element just counting the number of protons present in that particular element. So, suppose there are 10 number of protons present. So, the atomic number of that particular element would be 10. Similarly, suppose there is only 2 protons present in the nucleus of any particular atom. So, the atomic number provided for that would be 2. Irrespective of what are the numbers of electrons, what are the numbers of neutrons. Only we have to look at the number of protons. That is the atomic number. Then the next thing that we have to discuss is the atomic mass. Atomic mass of any particular element is generally composed of the number of neutrons present and number of protons present. And we assume that whatever number of electrons present in any particular element, that is not contributing to the weight of the element because mass of the electron is negligible. The mass of the electron is very, very less so we can neglect that. That's why the atomic mass is only contributed through the number of neutrons and number of protons. So here, the atomic mass of any particular element will be the number of neutrons plus the number of protons present in that particular nucleus of any element. So that is the atomic mass. The next very important topic that we have to discuss is the moles. What is the mole or what is the mole number you can see? So suppose you have any particular element, maybe any gas, maybe any liquid or whatever you have. Suppose if you can count the number of the particles, you can say a number of the atoms, number of the molecules, ions, whatever form the element is right now having. If you can count them and if you can count 6.022 multiplied by 10 to the power 23 number of the atoms, molecules, ions, or any other thing of any particular type of element. So that group of number of the atoms, molecules, whatever you are having, is actually having the unit of one mole. Mole is basically unit. So we use it to measure the amount of any particular element. So how you can measure it? You can measure it by counting the numbers. So if you have 6.022 multiplied by 10 to the power 23 molecules of any atom at one particular place at, one, at a time, then you can say that you are having one mole amount of that particular element. So basically, mole is unit. So this is one thing how you can uh, gather or how you can collect one mole amount of any particular element. The other definition of the mole is that the mole is the amount of substance of a system which contains as many elementary entities as there are atoms in 0.012 kilogram of carbon 12 and its symbol is molecule. Now do not confuse it or do not worry that why we are only taking carbon. Carbon is taken here as a reference. You can take any other element and you can take it. But the problem here would be the atomic mass of that particular element should be known. Like we know that the atomic mass of the carbon is 12 gram. So according to that, it is saying that 0.012 kilogram. So this is in kilogram or you can say that 12 gram as well. So the meaning of this that if you take 12 gram of carbon 12 molecule or the element, you will have approximately 6.022 to the power 23 
number of atoms present in that 12 gram amount of carbon 12 similarly if you take the same atomic mass of any other element suppose you have hydrogen you take 1 gram of the hydrogen hydrogen is a gas so 1 gram of hydrogen will occupy more space but space but here the amount would be same 1 gram of hydrogen will also have the same number of molecules in it some number of atoms in it that is 6.022 10 to the power 23 So here, carbon is taken as a reference for all the other elements. And if you take 0.012 kilogram of the carbon at one side of your weighing machine, suppose, and you take the same amount or the same equal substance of any other element, which is having the equal amount of this carbon 12, 12 gram, so that would be equal to one mole. So the mole is the amount of the substance which is present. As many as elementary entities, elementary entities are what? Elementary entities are these atoms, molecules, ions, or other whatever you are having. So the same number should be contained there, which is equals to the weight of 12 gram of the carbon 12. So that would be defined as a one mole amount. So either you can take as a weight, or you can take as a number. So both would be the mole, one mole amount. You can take the number as well. You can take the weight as well. So it is up to you. So mole is this is how defined. Either that would contain in the six point zero two two ten to the power twenty three uh, molecules in it, or it is having the equal number of entities, which is contained in zero point zero one two kilogram of carbon twelve. So both are are uh, equal here. You can say, but one is defined in the reference of the carbon, another is defined in the exact number. Generally, how moles are calculated? Suppose you have some amount of carbon twelve or some amount of any other elements. So, how to calculate how many moles are present there? So, to calculate it, there is a simple formula. If you want to know how many moles are present, mole is equals to weight of that particular element which you are having, maybe carbon, maybe hydrogen, whatever you are having, and just divide that number of the weight or the weight unit to the molecular weight of that element. For example, carbon twelve. Some carbon twelve. The weight you are having, suppose twelve gram. Twelve gram of carbon twelve. Right now you you are having uh, at a particular this maybe or a particular area you are having this. So and you want to know how many moles of carbon are present there. So twelve grams the weight you are having and divided by the molecular weight of that particular element. That is again twelve gram. Because we know the molecular weight or atomic mass of the carbon twelve is twelve, so this would be equal to one mole. Same thing is defined in this definition as well. That is, elementary entities which are present in zero point zero one kilogram of carbon twelve, or any other molecular element you want to calculate. So again, take the weight of that element that you are having and divide it by the molecular weight of that. For example. Let's see. Suppose you are having helium. You are having 10 gram of helium, and we know that the molecular weight of helium is 2. So 10 divided by 2 gram. So this would be equals to 5 moles of helium. So this is how you can calculate the number of moles for any particular element. You don't need to count the numbers here. That's why this particular second definition is provided. So easily you can calculate the number of moles of any kind of element. So this is the concept of mole. I hope this is clear to you.